we were uh, pre-positioned in different spots in the city. Uh, we would monitor Twitter and our dispatchers would call us. So we have traffic cameras and anytime there's any kind of blocking incident, we, we get there as soon as we can and get it cleared. Um, I go out and, and um, we fill potholes, we cut trees, we open up the intersections, the right-of-ways. Uh, we determine if there's any problems with the traffic lights. There's all sorts of things we do. We just, we're, we're off hours, emergency response, we keep the city rolling and, and when everybody leaves. We're supposed to typically supposed to get there within 30 minutes, but the city's growing and we position ourselves around areas that, you know, that, that may cause accidents and we try to get there as soon as possible. As soon as our dispatch calls us or, or we get an email from our iPhones, we go straight there. We go straight to the accident. These are our barricades that we used just in case there was a slide or there's a, there's a rise in the, um, in the sidewalks and things like that or, or, or for tree fall. We use these to barricade them up. These are our stop signs that we use. Um, you know, the stop, stop signs on the, on the streets, sometimes they're knocked down or they ran over. This is spag resorbent. This is just for accidents. Um, we use this for transmission fluid, radiator fluid, and um, any of those orbits that leak from an accident, we put this down and it soaks everything up. It's, I think it's a great tool. It's helping people move cars out of the lane of traffic. You know, when people get off work or and they're in their daily travels, they kind of want to get to where they're going. So having a stall to build, one stall to build could back up four or five miles. And if I'm able to get there and push this vehicle to the shoulder of the road and keep the flow of traffic going, that's tremendous. I mean, it's, it's, it's just helping everybody out. Slide it under the wheel there. Push it together. It's just gonna jack it up. Ready, Until the wheel comes off the ground and then uh, once both sides are up, it'll it's ready to spin. Ready? Spin it around just like that. So sometimes uh, there's front end damage and wheels might be pointing the wrong way or the, the fender or bumper's pushed into the wheel and it won't roll on its own. And that's when we'd use these. One accident blocking a major road, and it could just shuts down everything just about, you know, so. And then you can start having secondary collisions because of the backup. Yeah, I got a jump start box here. This, uh, we actually use this quite a lot. Uh, a lot of times vehicles, like uh, like on the Ballard Bridge, they'll shut off their car while the bridge is up. They go to start it, and they have a dead battery. Got a uh, box here we keep gas in. Uh, couple cans of regular fuel in case somebody runs out of gas. So we're getting red lights and sirens on our trucks. We won't be running red lights or anything like that, but if there's a lot of traffic on the viaduct or West Seattle Bridge or something like that, we'll use that to get through traffic to get to where we need to go. The weather's you know, warm and traffic and, and being stuck that stuck on the side of the road, you know, sitting on a vinyl seat and your car's not running. <laughs> yeah. And a guy pulls up out of nowhere with, you know, with service. The people are very grateful and they're very shocked because it's something that they're not used to.